My name is Jeffrey Spivey. Uh, I'm a menswear style blogger, and I live in New York, New York. In 2014, Jeffrey launched Uptown Bourgeois, a men's fashion and lifestyle blog. I, I first fell in love with style um, in high school. I read GQ, Details, all these menswear style magazines, and I wasn't really their target audience as a high schooler. I don't think I could afford 95% of what was in the magazines, but I got a lot of ideas about how to recreate those looks and that style. And there was always something that I aspired to, and I knew that one day I wanted to contribute or be a part of this business in some way, shape, or form, whether it was working directly for one of these magazines or creating my own platform. hours? I mean, that's a tough question. I guess I spend, I mean, each week there's at least like three or four hours that's spent pulling looks, looking for inspiration, scouting location, shooting, and that's the physical aspect. Then there's probably another one or two hours that I spend just creating content, making sure I have the right voice, uh, making sure everything is tagged and promoted correctly. And then there's, there's probably another two hours of social media work because I'm on nine different social media networks and I post to all of them every single day and, and there's a lot of work that goes into managing those accounts and connecting with people. When we first started, I think, what well, we probably had a reach of maybe like a thousand people. And now there's an audience of about 12,000 people. Growing, growing. Yeah, there's almost 4,000 people on Instagram. There's 4,000 on Facebook. 1,200 people on Pinterest. Like, I think about 2,400 on Twitter. People that are working on expanding on other networks. Like, what, what, what is it going to be a year from? A year? Yeah, there's a Starbucks on the next block. Yeah. On this right here. Oh, yeah, okay. right here. Yeah, so I think so. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> I started the blog really to have like a voice or inspiration for for people of color with fashion. I feel like there's still not a lot of diversity in fashion even though it's it's 2015. I mean, I know maybe of like one or two prominent black menswear bloggers, so I figured there was a need for it and there's definitely space in the industry and wanted to get involved and make an impact. And I kind of always wanted to be a model, so this gives me the chance to do that. So what are you usually looking for in the photos? Um, I mean, just to make sure like the right amount of detail is captured, there's something that has to stress in or a pattern. Um, and then there's different photos I post in different places. So on Lookbook, it's always important to have like different close-ups and angles of the outfit. So a lot of people that are successful there always post multiple angles of the same look versus just one picture. Specifically to you know people who want to people want to influence people in fashion or get involved in fashion or get involved in the blogging industry um, definitely do your homework 
look at people who are doing it really, really well that you're inspired by and, and either reach out to them directly and ask them questions and get advice from them or really study what they do before you start. Because even though blogging may seem like something that's relatively easy or simple, it's a pretty complicated business and industry and there's a lot of hard work that goes into it behind the scenes that you wouldn't necessarily see when you look at someone else. So it's definitely important to understand what you're getting involved in and be, be prepared to invest some money in that as well because no dream starts for free.